feedback only works when the context is explained okay feedback doesn't work when the context is not explained now feedback doesn't mean that they are describing you but what we do is we label ourselves with that feedback so if your boss says your visibility is low you need to improve on your communication skill so what we now start doing it is rakesh sir my communication is weak okay i don't know but i am not able to communicate why your boss has been giving you the feedback year over year now you label yourself with that feedback saying that okay i am not a good communicator we talk about the fears day before yesterday we talk about uh, that uh, how do we probably uh, create our vision and before that we ask you that uh, go to the person who has actually done something wrong or you have hurt them and you want to say sorry these are also the person who will give you the feedback okay so today your task is to take some honest feedback from the people around you okay now in the feedback generally speaking most of us we are not so good feedback receiver we are good feedback giver okay <laughs> so you have to first become a receiver receiver has an acceptance level of uh, and the patience of listening to what the person is saying uh analyzing that uh, feedback using the two doors which is one is the door for the criticism the second is the door for the construction okay or a creation if you use the door of a criticism you will actually take that feedback and then now say this person is criticizing me which is not acceptable to me now feedback doesn't mean that they are describing you but what we do is we label ourselves with that feedback so if your boss says your visibility is low you need to improve on your communication skill so what we now start doing it is rakesh sir my communication is weak okay i don't know but i am not able to communicate why your boss has been giving you the feedback year over year now you label yourself with that feedback saying that okay i am not a good communicator okay now if you you would have used the feedback theory well uh, then uh, you would have probably asked uh, the context feedback only works when the context is explained okay feedback doesn't work when the context is not explained so if you just take the feedback as a generic then it becomes the label label is my communication is bad i don't know how to create a visibility now these are generic statement specific to what context we are talking so you will say oh, i don't want i am not able to create a visibility in the office specific to what okay so let's say board meeting is going on do you want to go and barge into the board meeting and say i want to be visible not really right so you generalize a lot of feedback okay every one of us have that tendency that take the feedback generalize it and then make it as a label which doesn't work out in our favor because now we start creating that label in our mind and uh, labeling ourselves saying that we are this person okay so today when you go to the office you want to probably take the feedback on the professional side and uh, share your experience based on the nuances of feedback now not everybody will receive the same good feedback you might receive the bad feedback as well or uh, you might receive some of the criticism as well now who you need to actually reach out to the feedback you can actually reach out to the feedback for the people who are interacting regularly so you cannot go to your skip level boss and say that boss what's your feedback on me the skip level has no interaction with you throughout the entire month and now you go and say what's your feedback what can i improve he'll say i don't know about what you are doing anyway for the first place correct so you can't go to the people who you are not interacting now feedback also to be taken when the person is in that mind okay now your boss came out of the his boss meeting he's been screwed already in the meeting and now you go boss i need 15 minutes why don't you give me the feedback the rakesh has told me to get the feedback today so and your boss say okay i'll give you the feedback sit down okay and then you'll have it so you want to identify the right time for the feedback as well you cannot probably reach out to the people who are not in that uh, <clears throat> frame of mind to give you the feedback feedback requires uh, i mean whether you give or somebody else is giving feedback does require a little bit of uh, deliberations uh, before it is passed it on and those who are the leaders who are actually growing uh, at a certain level they always know the feedback plays a very very vital role okay and you cannot just give the feedback just like a freebies okay i don't improve on this that's my feedback no that's a freebies right the freebies is called the opinions which every one of us have okay so differentiate between the opinions and the feedback opinions are people are telling that okay you might be weak in the communication but while you are speaking to your vendors clients your teammates your uh, other stakeholders they feel like yeah he is doing really well no problem at all so that is an opinion why because their exposure level with you is very less that's why it is an opinion okay so that is the reason you want to probably have a feedback from the people who you interact with the most because they know how you behave how you actually interact and so on and so forth second is 
right frame of mind okay and the third is uh, ask relevant questions because feedback cannot be generic okay okay give me feedback that's not the question okay i've been working with you on this project we have had our challenges client has gone up down okay ultimately as a team we actually won but uh, i want to understand what are a couple of things that comes to your mind which i feel i can actually make better okay now if you ask this question now the person has a context context is we did this together we had a lot of interaction a lot of communication in that context what did you find my behavior to be my interaction to be which can be changed making sense so far yeah now <clears throat> that is where you will be getting the right feedback otherwise if you go with the generic words then you will only get the opinions and the labels so be very careful when you are looking for the feedback most of us when our appraisal cycle we just go and see okay sir what's your feedback on my work yeah. boss has been out for last one month they have you haven't had a touch with your boss okay you meet only once in a month and then you are asking a feedback in the appraisal system and what do they look at data which you have provided isn't it the data is kpis kras okay i have done this 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 and the boss will have the subjective memory okay when he has done this he screwed up on this when he has done this he screwed up on that now the boss will give you the feedback based on the memory and why does it happen because we never had the periodic interaction so set frequency interaction with them because then you can document that feedback and uh, based on that documented feedback you collect that feedback at the end of the year and say hey we have had a series of feedbacks that we have actually compiled i just put up a, together as a summary if you want to have a look at it before we have a appraisal discussion okay so you want to play smart by giving them the what you have actually achieved based on their feedback what has been changed for you and that will give your boss an understanding yeah this guy has improved even though he is not in touch with me making sense otherwise it is a memory race where you are just asking your boss okay boss i have been working with you for 2 years i am right for the promotion what's your feedback and your boss will remind you where you have screwed up because that's their job isn't it so they'll just pick up the things which you have screwed up okay so feedback giving and receiving feedback today we'll first receive it then i'll ask you to give as well tomorrow so that you can actually learn how to give so <laughs> feedback is a, a beautiful thing to improve in ourselves only provided that you are open to receive the feedback and you are open to learn from that not just for the sake of taking the feedback okay because most of the time how many of you have seen your appraisal system after your appraisal system is over and cycle is over nobody right it is only used for that season period mango jaye khaye khatam isn't it that's how we use the appraisal system and that is the reason the appraisal system is always flawed it doesn't reflect the person's true potential make sense so far with me yeah who can tell you all this the person who must have gone through it they are the only one who can tell you whether it is flawed or not <laughs> okay so your task today <clears throat> is uh, your forgiveness on the money behaviors okay receive the feedback today on the professional side okay and share your experience please make sure that you keep in mind all the nuances about the receiving frame of mind contacts uh, briefing them and then probably ask a specific okay and uh, by the time your evening comes i'm sure some of you will be happy some of you may not be happy and uh, then again you go back to basics the basics is whether the person has given you a bad or a good feedback you are just forgiving them for whatever they give why because you are not there for uh, them you are there for yourself isn't it feedback is for you not for them correct and uh, feedback is for improvement now the person comes and say you know this situation where you have actually behave x y z now the situation is there behavior is there but context is missing why so let's say you fought with your wife you went to the uh, office you had a call from your uh, uh, landlord and saying that yaar tera rent nahi aaya abhi tak and you are already under the financial pressure and your boss says that uh, the client has sent you an email why are you not responding yes sir i'll respond it and you respond something which is not in the right frame of mind and you screwed up that your boss gets to hear that from your client and then your boss says hey why didn't you communicate properly when you have already done the work correct and now you are not in frame of mind but something is screwed up because of that and now somebody is giving you a feedback that your communication is not good now you took it on your heart and say i am not a good communicator but you didn't analyze the entire cycle and say that your communication is not good now you labeled it and uh, that happens repeatedly and you now become the bad communicator by default and that directly creates your self image which directly hits your confidence which directly doesn't allow you to act or make a decision and then you are in the spiral which is cycle all right so go back and uh, make sure that you take the feedback from at least three people 
take some time out it will help you a lot in your career become more specific more contextual in nature <clears throat> identify whether your context and their context are matching okay and not just take it on the uh, i would say the face value feedback never be taken on the face value feedback always needs to be analyzed because any feedback which is taken on the face value always becomes the label okay so analyze it identify whether it is creative constructive or it is just a opinion